Have you ever wondered how our immune system works? What happens when bacteria and viruses enter our body? Our immune system is made of many different and connected parts that helps us fight antigens. Antigens are bacteria, viruses, and other invaders that alert our immune system. Some parts in our immune system are the white blood cells and antibodies. The white blood cells move through our blood and tissue looking for bacteria, viruses, and other invaders. Viruses are tiny infectious particles that cannot be seen with our eyes. They can only multiply within a living cell using a genetic blueprint they carry. Bacteria are all around us. They live in many types of environments such as soil. Another name for a bacteria is a germ. So how do bacteria and viruses enter our body? There are many ways that bacteria and viruses can enter our body. Some could be through eating a type of food, drinking water, breathing them in through the air, touching surfaces and rubbing our eyes, mouth or nose, or they can get into a cut or wound. When bacteria, viruses and other antigens enter our body, they'll start making multiple copies of themselves using the resources in our body. Once they get in really large numbers, they'll start destroying the body by changing its normal environment, which means they infect cells and organs. The job of the immune system is to stop these invaders from destroying the human body. White blood cells, also known as leukocyte, is arranged into two main parts, phagocyte and lymphocyte. Phagocyte destroy any invader they run into by eating them. They identify a substance produced by the invader after eating them. They transmit the information to the lymphocyte. The lymphocyte has two parts as well, which are the T lymphocyte and the B lymphocyte, also known as the T cells and the B cells. The T cells look for infected body parts and kill them off. The B cells use the information provided from the invader substance to create antibodies, a type of protein consisting of many parties to identify bacteria, viruses, and other invaders. Antibodies also has another name, which is immunoglobulin. Antibodies are designed to match and mark an antigen. Each antibody is designed to identify only one type of antigen. So there's an antibody that can only identify a virus and there's an antibody that can only identify a bacteria. The antibody will attach itself to a bacteria or virus and the T cells will be ordered to attack the antigen. The phagocytes come in and eat the infections remaining. This is how our immune system fights. I'm advising you to eat healthy foods which boost the function of our immune system. We should always be washing our hands as well. Thank you for watching and God bless you.